Dot dot dot. Great. Awesome. Ha ha ha. Lin Ming boisterously laughed out loud. At this moment, he felt an explosive power filling his body. His blood boiled within him, like a rushing river from an unleashed dam, surging with unlimited vitality. To compare a thin and slender blood vessel to a river seemed exaggerated, but in truth it wasn't at all. In the common folktales, when the greatest god of all underwent nirvana and remade the new universe, his body turned into all of life. His eyes became the sun and the moon, and the blood that flowed within him turned into rivers and oceans. Although this was only a legend, it wasn't completely baseless. This was because if someone could obtain Lin Ming's blood vessels now and refine them, they could create a river of flowing blood gushing forwards endlessly. It could be said that Lin Ming's entire body was now a treasure. The supreme dragon bone had been fused into his bones, engraving runes onto the surface that recorded the heavenly Tao laws. His flesh was integrated with law runes that contained the highest truths of the world. His blood and marrow were filled with phoenix essence, allowing him to communicate with heaven and earth origin energy with ease. His organs and fascia had already been tempered continuously with energy, making them as firm as divine iron. When Lin Ming was born, his martial talent had only been subpar at best. Now, his current body's martial talent had reached the levels of a monstrous genius. Phoenix Blood Spear, Lin Ming gave a loud shout and the Phoenix Blood Spear shot out from the ruptured earth, turning into a beam of red light that fell into his hand. With the spear in his hand, Lin Ming immediately felt a close and comforting feeling, as if his own flesh and blood were with him. In this moment, the Phoenix Blood Spear was no longer a weapon but a part of his body, an extension of his arm. Hum. The Phoenix Blood Spear trembled in excitement, emitting whistling sounds. Lin Ming felt the strength within his body reach the peak, as if he would explode if he didn't let it loose. Strength surging like a tsunami. Blood boiling like lava. Lin Ming bit down on the tip of his tongue and forced out blood essence, spurting it on top of the Phoenix Blood Spear. In this instant, he had burnt 20% of his blood essence. A powerful strength gained at the cost of burning his blood essence was completely poured into Lin Ming's body. In that instant, his strength suddenly soared. The heretical god force also erupted. He had now reached a level of strength countless times the limit of life destruction. The world seed within Lin Ming's dandian trembled as if it would break apart and become a world of its own. All of his strength was poured into the phoenix blood spear. Then, a thrust. Shu. Spear light cut through space, issuing forth a horrifying tearing sound. Thunder crashed down from the skies and plumes of flame rose from the ground. All of this energy was swept up by the spear, forming a massive red and purple vortex. Underneath the heavenly Tao laws, the power of thunderfire within this spear was no longer the pure five elements, but had changed to, heavenly tribulation. At this moment, within Lin Ming's body, the heretical god seedling emitted a glorious light. When Lin Ming crossed Ninfall, the thunder and fire tribulations he experienced hadn't vanished but had been absorbed and refined by the heretical god seedling. The laws within the power of thunder and fire heavenly tribulation had also been absorbed by the heretical god seedling. Now, as Lin Ming burnt his own blood essence, he had unexpectedly called out the heavenly Tao laws sleeping deep within his body, reproducing the power of heavenly tribulation. Rumble rumble rumble. The strength of a powerful heavenly tribulation erupted and the vast sky turned endless shades of red and purple. As Lin Ming swung his spear, a 100,000-foot-tall mountain a hundred miles away was smashed into fragments by him. Even the massive lake of lava around it completely evaporated. The energy contained within this strike had even evaporated magma. And from the area that Lin Ming had struck out with his spear from to the place where that mountain had been destroyed, a massive fissure had formed in the ground as if a divine dragon had crushed the world. This terrifying destructive power even left Lin Ming stunned. This move was. Lin Ming had only planned to simultaneously fuse the first three concepts of fire with the first three concepts of thunder. He didn't think that there would be such an effect. The power of heavenly tribulation, Mo Evers now gasped as she saw the scene before her, as if the final days of the world had arrived. What? Lin Ming asked, surprised. Mo Evers now solemnly said, Lin Ming, when you crossed Ninfal, not only was there a massive amount of the heavenly Tao laws fused into your body, but you also crossed heavenly tribulation and became someone that exists outside the heavenly Tao. In the future, you might even become someone that can control the heavenly Tao. Of course, you are currently too weak so that is impossible, but, just now, when you revolved your energy to the limit just now, you summoned the power of thunder and fire tribulation that had been absorbed and carved into the heretical god seedling, reproducing the majesty of heavenly tribulation. Heavenly tribulation. 
Then my move just now, was equal to heavenly tribulation? Lin Ming was stunned. He himself had deeply experienced just how mighty heavenly tribulation was. Every single level of heavenly tribulation was incomparably terrifying. At that time, Lin Ming had just crossed Ninfal and his body had been in its peak state. Even so, he had nearly died a gruesome death as he was being attacked by heavenly tribulation. If it weren't for him swallowing down that demon bead divine replica then he would have likely died then and there. If he could manifest heavenly tribulation in his moves, then even if he couldn't reproduce the most powerful yin-yang tribulation and could only use thunder and fire tribulation, that would already make him someone that defied the will of the heavens. To wield the power of heavenly tribulation in his hands sounded completely unbelievable. Lin Ming, since ancient times, supreme elders have always created their own cultivation methods. Just now, you also created your own style. Before now, you mastered various cultivation methods and produced your own skills, chasing sun, chasing thunder, penetrating rainbow, and burying the heavens. However, these are different. They can at best only be considered mediocre filler. The only reason they are decent is because you created them and they are best suited for your own combat style. But if they stood by themselves as an inheritance, then they really wouldn't be anything to look at at all. But, the move you created just now was different. In terms of the laws, it stands at an extremely high level, approaching even the heavenly Tao. In the future as your strength increases and you constantly improve yourself, this style of yours may even surpass the heavenly Tao. And, all techniques that transcend the heavenly Tao are called transcendent divine mites. Your move just now can be taken as the elementary form of a future transcendent divine might. You have already crossed through nine levels of heavenly tribulation so you can definitely achieve this. When that happens, you will have a transcendent divine might that belongs to you alone. Mo Evers now found it hard to maintain her calm as she spoke to here. Even she felt this was incredible. Lin Ming with his mere perfect ninfall had actually touched upon the domain of the transcendent divine might. This had definitely been in large part due to the nine by nine life destruction he experienced, as well as the nine levels of heavenly tribulation and the countless law fragments fused into his body. You're saying that this is the elementary form of a transcendent divine might, Lin Ming asked, surprised. He felt as if this was a dream and found it hard to speak for a while. A transcendent divine might could only be created by someone extraordinary like an Empyrean. Up until now, Lin Ming had learnt two different transcendent divine mites. And even then, the principles of the great Tao inherent within them had Lin Ming uttering praises endlessly over just how exquisite they were. Their common characteristic was that they had nearly formed a system of laws themselves. They were simply not subject to the constraints of the heavenly Tao. They were existences that truly defied the heavens. Although Lin Ming had never been arrogant, he believed that in many aspects, his talent had nearly reached the peak within the divine realm. But upon mentioning a transcendent divine might, Lin Ming actually felt a bit helpless and frustrated. He always felt that the moves he created himself were garbage compared to a transcendent divine might. Lin Ming had confidence in his cultivation and strength and also believed he could become an Empyrean in the future. But in terms of self-created moves, Lin Ming actually doubted himself. Would he be able to create his own transcendent divine might upon reaching the Empyrean realm? He never expected that what he just used now was the elementary form of a transcendent divine might. Don't be complacent. I only said that this move of yours can develop into a transcendent divine might in the future. It is still incomparably far from becoming a true transcendent divine might. You will need to slowly work towards that goal. Every complete transcendent divine might has its own perfect and independent law system. It could even be said that creating a transcendent divine might is equal to recreating part of the heavenly Tao. With it as a foundation, then with enough grand mist energy, you could even breed a true world. And the Empyrean who created that transcendent divine might would be the god who created that world. Every transcendent divine might is the total sum of everything that an Empyrean had learned in their life. Thus, no matter how extreme an Empyrean is, they can only produce a single one. Although only an Empyrean can create a transcendent divine might, when the inkling and traces of that transcendent divine might first appear, that Empyrean might be at a very low boundary. For instance, the current you, Mo Evers now said this to prevent Lin Ming from being overly content with himself. Even so, she couldn't help but praise him. To touch upon the elementary form of a transcendent divine might at the ninth stage life destruction was far, far too early. A transcendent divine might is equal to the heavenly Tao in this world, Lin Ming was startled. This was the first time he had heard of such a thing and it left him shaken. 
If an Empyrean had enough Grand Mist energy, couldn't they even create their own miniature universe? Lin Ming, you have harvested far too much. Far, far too much. Although it only manifests in enhancing your strength now, in the future the benefits you will experience will be more and more. This harvest is even greater than what you gained from opening the Gate of Life. Since you created this technique, you should give it a name so that once you master it, it can be an inheritance that you pass down. Okay, once Lin Ming recovered from his thoughts, he began to think aloud, since this technique was bred within heavenly tribulation and belongs to the power of heavenly retribution, let's call it heavenly Tao judgment, since this was a technique with unlimited potential for growth in the future, calling it heavenly Tao judgment was a worthy name. Otherwise, if it was some garbage technique that dared to proclaim itself heavenly Tao anything, then others would truly laugh at it to death. Heavenly Tao judgment? That's quite the imposing name. I hope that in the future you will be able to give this name the reputation it deserves. As Mo Evers now spoke, Lin Ming clenched his fists and said, I will. Hmm. We don't have much time left. You train for another three months. Once you've gathered enough strength, it will be time to attack the Divine Sea. Afterwards, you will consolidate your cultivation and then we shall leave seclusion to join the Divine Realm First Martial Meeting. All right, Lin Ming shouted, his heroic spirit rising 100,000 feet into the heavens. The Divine Realm First Martial Meeting would be the gathering of the most ultimate extreme young geniuses within the Divine Realm. Lin Ming wanted to take a good look at these young elites and see just how he compared to them. Training passed without sense of time. Unknowingly, three months went by. Because Lin Ming displayed heavenly Tao judgment, there was a deficit of blood energy within his body. However, he had restored this half a month ago. According to the Celestial Tyrant Manual, the less blood essence one consumed, the faster it would regenerate. If one consumed a great deal such as 50%, then it might even take over half a year to recover. If one consumed over 50%, then not even the Gate of Life's powerful life force restoring abilities would be able to completely restore it. After three months, Lin Ming's essence, energy, and divine had reached the limit. The inner world seed within him had shrunk to the size of a grain of rice and was verging on the edge of eruption. The more concentrated the world seed was, the greater the explosive force would be once it erupted. Hu 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 in the dimensional realm, strong winds stirred. Endless heaven and earth origin energy gathered, forming a massive whirlpool-shaped origin energy cloud in the sky. The central focal point of this origin energy cloud was a 100,000-foot-high crimson mountain peak. Lin Ming sat at the very summit of this peak, deep in meditation, 100,000 feet was nearly 50 miles. If this were the sky spill continent, this altitude would have long since pierced through the primal chaos heavens. But in this sealed world, this height only just touched the infinite thunder clouds in the sky, bringing them in reach of one's fingertips. It's time, Lin Ming slowly opened his eyes from meditation. He stood up, the strong wind surging past him. Lin Ming's white clothes violently fluttered in the air as his long hair whipped about him. Beside him, twelve thick iron chains were like twelve dragons, one end wrapped around the mountain peak with the other end extending into the vast and boundless skies. Three months of accumulation, no, it should be ten years of accumulation. Lin Ming had first crossed life destruction at twenty-two years of age. Now, nearly ten years had passed. Everything so far had been for this final moment. And the nine stages of life destruction had taken Lin Ming ten years of time. He had nearly crossed a stage each year. Solid, step by step, steady and without a single shortcut taken. This speed was considered relatively slow for a divine realm genius. However, such a patient and steady cultivation speed had brought tremendous benefits to Lin Ming. It had formed the foundation for him to hurtle into the future, overcoming all. Today, Lin Ming would finally break into the Divine Sea. Divine Sea, Divine Transformation, Divine Lord, these three large boundaries and nine small boundaries were collectively called the Nine Divine Shifts, similar to the nine stages of life destruction. Ninfal was to overcome mortality and the Divine Sea was to transform into the Divine. After reaching the Divine Sea, Lin Ming would have completed his transformation from mortality and began stepping into the realm of God. Hu hu the strong winds became increasingly violent. The center of the origin energy cloud turned into a funnel that came extending downwards. In the skies, dark clouds extended for 10,000 miles, with countless flashing arcs of thunder shining from within as if an immortal god of thunder swelled in there. And beneath the mountain peak, an inexhaustible sea of lava and flames surged about. Volcanic explosions continued without end, sending molten lava tumbling into the skies. Lin Ming took out the boundless world pill from his spatial ring. 
All of the energy within his body was gathered in his dandian, rushing into his world seed without a care for the consequences. The heretical god force opened, the blood of the ancient phoenix combusted. Together with the endless origin energy in the clouds above him, Lin Ming crazily absorbed it all. As energy constantly entered him, the world seed within Lin Ming's Danian began to radiate a blinding light. The world seed continued to shrink, going from the size of a grain of rice to the size of a needle's eye, and still condensing even beyond that. In the legends, when the universe first formed, it had begun from an infinitesimally small point. All of the grand mist energy in creation had been concentrated in that tiny dot, finally exploding outwards and creating the endless universe. Now, the formation of Lin Ming's inner world followed the same principles as the eruption of the universe. Boundless world pill, Lin Ming already felt that his inner world had been compressed to the limit. Then, he crumbled the boundless world pill in his hands. As the pill shattered, the world spirit sealed within the center of the pill turned into an incomparably pure world power that flew into Lin Ming's body, all of it absorbed by him. This pill that had been one with seven trillion violet sunstones was the most valuable peak quality pill that a divine sea martial artist could use. Even the top genius of a great world king holy land would find it difficult to use. Now, this world spirit completely fused into Lin Ming's world seed. At this time, his world seed finally exploded into pieces. Countless tiny cracks appeared on this world seed that was smaller than a needle's eye. An endless amount of energy erupted and Lin Ming's Danian instantly collapsed. Bang! Energy transformed into an incomparably terrifying storm, rushing outwards with utter brutality. All of the clouds for thousands of miles around were completely washed away by the shockwaves. And after the raging storm of energy dissipated, Lin Ming's body had actually vanished. On this 100,000-foot-high mountain peak where one could touch the skies, a completely sealed space distortion appeared in the air. The power of time, the power of space, everything was completely twisted up in here. Even light was affected, unable to maintain a straight line. Lin Ming's body was sealed up within this space distortion. This was a cocoon formed from a space distortion. And Lin Ming was sealed within this cocoon, undergoing his transformation from life destruction to the divine sea. The wind had already stopped. The surging thunder and the billowing lava had died down. The endless amount of heaven and earth origin energy no longer formed violent and dangerous fluctuations of energy. Rather, it turned into fist-sized balls of glowing light. These balls of glowing light were mostly red and purple, but there was also yellow, blue, black, green, white, and every other possible color imaginable. More and more of these glowing balls of light appeared. From tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands to millions and even more, until it seemed like an infinite sea of lights. From a few dozen miles, it rapidly expanded to a thousand miles, filling the entire world with a beautiful glow. Looking from afar, it seemed like a single infinite rainbow had appeared, beautiful and charming, stretching to infinity. Moevers now slowly floated in the skies, looking at these endless beautiful balls of light as well as the giant cocoon floating within them. Strange and mysterious La runes emerged from the cocoon and wrapped around it, as fantastical and amazing as a dream. World seed shattered and Dantian transformed into a minor dimension this was the symbol of the Divine Sea. And after reaching the Divine Sea, the laws that a martial artist comprehended would become a part of their system and also become the heavenly Tao laws of this minor dimension. The massive cocoon floating in the air was a projection of the laws from Lin Ming's inner world. At this point, one could only wait. Lin Ming's body, soul, his everything was being transformed within this cocoon. This process might take one to two months of time. However, that didn't mean there were no risks during this period. When Lin Ming truly began stepping into the realm of God, he would have to experience and overcome his heart demons. Because his consciousness had already entered a completely different space-time realization, Lin Ming's dreams of his heart demons might continue for far longer than a month or two. All martial artists would have to experience their heart demons when they crossed into the Divine Sea. There were very few people that would die because they couldn't overcome their heart demons. But, if they were influenced by their heart demons, this would cause the evolution of their soul to be incomplete, making their divine foundation unsteady. All of this would depend on Lin Ming himself. Mo Evers now simply meditated in front of the giant cocoon, resting her soul form. In the cocoon, Lin Ming was like a baby that hadn't been born. His arms were wrapped around his knees and his body was rolled up. His entire body was naked, no different from a baby. While a baby would soak in amniotic fluid, what Lin Ming rested in was a sea of laws. Law runes appeared periodically on Lin Ming's body before fading away. Lin Ming's eyes were closed, unaware of all this. 
Deep in sleep, Lin Ming's face was sharp and clear. His long hair hung down, covering his strong back. His tough and long legs were filled with an explosive power. Every inch of his flesh, every fiber of his muscles, it was all a work of perfect art. In this cocoon, his body, his soul, everything he was began to subtly change. In a dim haze, Lin Ming seemed to return to his childhood, and countless memories of it rushed back into his mind. All of them were strange, confusing, and unable to be discerned clearly. Then, everything rapidly changed. He was chased down by Tian Mingzi. Mo Eversnow was destroyed, her soul fading into ashes. He himself was severely wounded. His boundary dropped and he would never be able to advance again in his life. Then, the secret of the magic cube was exposed. Every martial artist under the heavens began to hunt him down. Finally, Lin Ming died without a burial ground and even his homeland, the Sky Spill Continent, was exterminated by Tian Mingzi's underlings. All of these scenes were images that suited the weakness in Lin Ming's heart. This was a heart demon, all pervasive and perpetual. As long as a human held desires or fear, they would inevitably have heart demons. The evolution of the soul was followed by the manifestation of these heart demons. If one wasn't able to overcome them then their divine foundation would be damaged. Fortunately, Lin Ming's will was incomparably powerful. He soon discovered the shadows of these fears and completely crushed his heart demons. He saw himself killing Tian Mingzi, becoming an Empyrean, helping Mo Eversnow reforge her body, rebuilding the Verdant Feather Holy Lands, and then climbing to the peak of martial arts. There, he surpassed the boundary of Empyrean, becoming immortal and everlasting, an existence that would last for eternity. Like this, tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of years passed. He held the world in his hands, controlled the samsara of life and death, and dominated the heavenly Tao laws. This feeling was incomparably realistic and wonderful. This sort of heart demon was a manifestation of Lin Ming's desire to reach the peak of martial arts. Even if Lin Ming's will was strong, when facing such a heart demon, the effect of his willpower would be greatly diminished. This was because Lin Ming's will and determination to chase after the peak of martial arts was very strong, and correspondingly this heart demon was also strong, much mightier than anything an ordinary martial artist could dream of. Lin Ming wandered about this illusionary dream. He seemed to awaken and also fall asleep, again and again. He experienced lifetimes of great sadness and also lifetimes of great joy. Then, his mind suddenly shook. It was like he had seen the ends of the heavens. There, a phantom of the magic cube, demon bead, and purple card appeared. An icy feeling rushed through his body and Lin Ming suddenly awoke. As Lin Ming examined his body, he found that his Danian had already disappeared, replaced by a minor dimension. The world power of the boundless world pill had already fused into this minor dimension. The evolution of his world had come to an end. At this time, outside of the massive cocoon, the endless rainbow origin energy light that extended for thousands of miles suddenly gathered together, forming millions of phoenixes and fire birds that flew towards the center, all of them submerging into the giant cocoon. For a time, a blinding light filled the world, illuminating the heavens with shimmering multicolored lights. Mo Eversnow's eyes suddenly shot open. She knew that at this moment, Lin Ming had stepped into the divine sea. Ka ka ka. Within the dimensional realm, the giant cocoon shattered and Lin Ming emerged, standing on the wind. He was already wearing white clothes formed from energy, as white as snow and as untouchable as the heavens. After breaking through to the divine sea, Lin Ming's aura became even more concealed and a sharp light slowly gathered in his eyes, making him seem softer and gentler. If Lin Ming was a spear before, then right now he was a spear that was placed into a spear chest. Although he seemed ordinary, the truth was that his vast aura was hidden. Once it erupted, the earth would shake and the heavens would tremble. Lin Ming, enter your minor dimension, Mo Eversnow turned into a beam of light and sank into Lin Ming's body. Lin Ming followed her, entering the minor dimension that had been opened within himself. The scenery changed. The minor dimension that the two entered was barren with only the ground spread before them and calm skies above them. Within this world, all sorts of heaven and earth origin energy gathered together, wandering about and forming dazzling patterns in the sky. This heaven and earth origin energy came from the countless balls of origin energy light that Lin Ming had absorbed when he reached the Divine Sea. These origin energy lights were now gathered in Lin Ming's world, becoming a part of the power of the world within him. If he fought in the future, he would be able to use a part of this energy. This was the reason why a Divine Sea powerhouse was far stronger than a life destruction martial artist. Because when they fought, a Divine Sea martial artist could draw support from their own inner world for strength. 
Now that Lin Ming had broken through into the Divine Sea, his strength had risen astronomically. Moreover, because of the Boundless World Pill, after Lin Ming broke into the Divine Sea he had steadily entered into the early Divine Sea Realm, just a tiny bit away from reaching the peak of the early Divine Sea Realm. The speed of this improvement was much quicker than a normal martial artist's. Mo Eversnow's Divine Sense spread out, looking through Lin Ming's entire minor dimension. She revealed a satisfied smile and then said to Lin Ming, Lin Ming, your inner minor dimension has reached a diameter of 800 miles just after you entered the Divine Sea Realm. Your inner world is even larger than that of some weak late Divine Sea Martial Artists. Only larger than the inner worlds of weak late Divine Sea Martial Artists, Lin Ming asked, surprised, seeming unsatisfied with this appraisal. With his solid cultivation, steady foundation, and the boundless world pill added on top, then if his inner world didn't far surpass those of ordinary martial artists then he might as well kill himself. But now as he listened to Mo Eversnow, his inner world only surpassed weak late divine sea martial artists. He was certainly dissatisfied with this. Mo Eversnow faintly smiled, so what would you like instead? The size of your inner world is determined by how strong or weak a martial artist's true essence foundation is. The size of your inner world has already surpassed that of a weak late divine sea martial artist. In other words, disregarding all other aspects, just your cultivation is in no way inferior to that of a weak late divine sea martial artist. Then, with your laws, battle spirit, transcendent divine mites, dual body and energy cultivation, extremely thick true essence, and all sorts of other factors added in, they are no different from ants compared to you. I see, Lin Ming whispered as it dawned on him. If the area of his inner world reached that of a weak late divine sea martial artist, then that meant his cultivation was equal to theirs. Cultivation had always been Lin Ming's greatest weak point. If his cultivation matched them, then killing these people wouldn't be much more difficult than stepping on an ant. Moreover, Lin Ming's inner world was far more stable than the inner world of most other divine sea martial artists. This was because of the boundless world pill. Due to him having taken the boundless world pill, his inner world had taken on characteristics of a true world. From this alone, even if the size of their inner worlds was the same, Lin Ming's inner world could hold far more world strength. Lin Ming, it's time for us to leave, Mo Eversnow suddenly said. Leave now? Do I not need to train for another month or two to stabilize my cultivation? Lin Ming asked, startled. There was still plenty of time for him to train here. No need. Let's leave now. There is still some time until the first martial meeting begins. Even if you stabilize your foundation on the road, that will be more than enough. Training for too long in an altered flow of time will have negative effects on your comprehension of laws. Since we have no need to stay here, we might as well leave now. Okay, Lin Ming nodded. In the next moment his body turned into a beam of light that shot straight towards the exit of this training area. After training for so long, it was finally time for Lin Ming to face the Divine Realm first martial meeting. Young hero Lin, you've come out so early. You still have two and a half months left in your reserve training chamber. In the corridor of Imperial City Auction House, a beautiful woman politely spoke to Lin Ming as he appeared. The young receptionists of Imperial City Auction House were mostly at the revolving core or life destruction realm. Although their talent wasn't too amazing, all of them were extraordinarily beautiful with amazing temperaments. Some of them with good luck might even be looked upon favorably by some great person and taken in as concubines. I understand. Could you help settle the bill? Lin Ming casually said. Then, his mind stirred and he asked, do you know if there's any special news regarding the first martial meeting? As Lin Ming spoke, he flicked his hand and a small bottle of pills useful for a life destruction martial artist flew into the hands of the young receptionist. The young woman took the bottle by reflex. Although she couldn't see what sorts of pills were inside, she had done enough work in the auction house that she was able to judge the general value of a bottle of pills by its fragrance. As she took the bottle in hand she was immediately overjoyed. Her eyes became much more gentle and pleasing as she looking at Lin Ming, reporting to young hero Lin, registration for the first martial meeting has recently begun. The currently held Divine Realm first martial meeting has extremely loose limits for registration. It is completely different from the last several first martial meetings, oh? How is it different? Lin Ming casually asked. The young woman sweetly grinned and said, in the past first martial meetings, besides the limits of age and cultivation, there were also requirements for one's background. For instance, one had to be a disciple of a holy land, a junior of a ninth grade family, or the descendant of a holy lord level powerhouse. Before every martial meeting, a quota of people would be given to every holy land in the divine realm. 
There were many higher 8th grade sects that couldn't obtain a quota of people unless they had the recommendation of a Holy Lord level powerhouse or above. Thus, many wandering martial artists weren't able to participate either. As Lin Ming heard the young woman speak, he was surprised for a bit before immediately understanding it. Although it sounded unfair to refuse most wandering martial artists and even those from weaker sects, this was also reasonable. If there was no defined threshold to register and every martial artist participated, then the number of martial artists joining in would probably be counted using trillions as the smallest number. With so many people, how could a tournament possibly be arranged? Thus, only sects with enough strength were able to recommend their strongest direct disciples. The strength of these chosen individuals was far higher than what an average wandering martial artist could hope to compare with. In fact, in all fairness, if one didn't have a sect or a holy lord level master behind them, it was impossible for a wandering martial artist to hope to show good results in the first martial meeting. Even a monstrous freak like Lin Ming also had a holy land background. Lin Ming soon understood all of this. He asked, so, you're saying that the rules for registration have changed? Yes, this first martial meeting only has limits on age and cultivation. There is no limit on one's background and also quota of people given. All geniuses that meet the required age and cultivation can participate. Hmm, Lin Ming was stunned. If conditions for registration were so loose then wouldn't the number of people registering be unimaginable? In such a grand and wondrous event, even if some weaker young elites clearly knew that they wouldn't have any results in participating, they would still all be rushing to personally experience just how awesome this was. After all, this was an event that happened only every several thousands of years. If they just happened to be of the age and cultivation to enter, how could they not participate? How many people have registered already? Lin Ming asked. The young woman thought for a moment before saying, it is said that within the entire true martial world, there are already 1.5 trillion geniuses that have registered. But, there is still two months remaining. The closer the deadline approaches, the more people there will be registering. At the end, I estimate that the total number will increase by several times what it is now. This is, Lin Ming sucked in a cold breath of air. He was already mentally prepared, but upon hearing the true number of participants he was still shocked. Currently, just a great world of the divine realm had 1.5 trillion registered participants so far, and there were 3,000 great worlds in the divine realm in total. If this were added up assuming that the others were the same, then that would be 4.5 quadrillion geniuses. In addition, there were still the countless other worlds, hidden worlds, hidden dimensions, and all sorts of other people. This number was far too terrifying. Moreover, this was only half a month of registration. Once the first martial meeting truly started, there would at least be 10 to 20 quadrillion young elites participating. With so many people, arranging them to compete was simply far too difficult. Not to mention a higher number, just gathering 10 quadrillion young elites together was a monumental undertaking. One would need at least 10 billion spirit ships. No matter how wealthy Empyrean Divine Dream and Empyrean Vast Universe were or how much manpower they had on their side, it was still unimaginable that they could organize a first martial meeting on such a giant scale. Even if they could organize such an event, where would they find the venue for it? This was 10 quadrillion people. Not even a massive super planet would be able to hold so many people. If he didn't guess wrong, then there should be qualifying tournaments, each of them in their own area. For instance, Immemorial Imperial City would be such a division with its qualifying tournament. A winner would be chosen here to go on to the next round, repeated ad nauseum. Who knew how many rounds one would have to go through to experience the true competition? Moreover, it was impossible to be completely fair in this. There were some qualifying areas that were doomed to have far too many masters, and other qualifying areas that wouldn't have any stronger individuals. Deciding how to allocate the number of chosen participants would be a major problem. As Lin Ming thought this, he asked, will the tournament be divided into subdivisions? If so, then will those that register at Immemorial Imperial City be competing at Immemorial Imperial City? The beautiful young receptionist shook her head. It doesn't seem so. I've heard that everyone that registered will be competing together. Competing together? How is that even possible? Lin Ming found this all too unbelievable. No matter how resourceful or powerful two Empyreans were, it should still be impossible to do this. This is what everyone is saying so it shouldn't be wrong. Moreover, the site of the competition is extremely special, it is the divine dream world, the young woman confidently said. Lin Ming still couldn't understand. 
Three months ago, when that voice resounded through all of Immemorial Imperial City, they had said, three months from now, the first martial meeting of the Divine Realm's 3000 Great Worlds will be held in the Divine Dream World, held jointly by Empyrean Vast Universe and Empyrean Divine Dream. All heroic young elites of the Divine Realm may participate. The Divine Dream World, wouldn't that be the domain of Empyrean Divine Dream? But how was it possible to organize 10 quadrillion geniuses to compete there? As Lin Ming was pondering this, Mo Eversnow said, Lin Ming, I suspect that the Divine Dream World is not the Divine Dream World of the Divine Realm's 3000 Great Worlds, but a special world that Empyrean Divine Dream established herself using a transcendent divine might as the laws the true Divine Dream World, hmm? A world established by the laws of a transcendent divine might, Lin Ming asked, dumbfounded. Dot dot dot. It's only a guess of mine, I don't know for sure. I should have told you this, but Empyrean Divine Dream is an outstanding individual even amongst Empyreans. She is extremely mysterious and even the Empyrean level influence she created, Divine Dream Palace, is just as mysterious as she is. It is said that Divine Dream Palace only allows female cultivators to join, and there are only several hundred people there in total. Each of them is either superbly strong or superbly talented. Even if a great world king were to go to Divine Dream Palace, they would still have to respectfully greet any individual there. They wouldn't even dare to offend a junior, only several hundred people, Lin Ming echoed, surprised. After ascending to the Divine Realm, he began to understand just how great and massive the sects of the Divine Realm were. The scales they were built to were enormous. Even the ancient Phoenix Clan had a hundred billion clansmen, and the ancient Dragon Clan even had a trillion clansmen. Immemorial Imperial City's sacred martial mansion and true martial holy lands were ridiculously huge presences here, and yet only a tiny part of their sects were located at Immemorial Imperial City. And now, Mo Eversnow had said that Divine Dream Palace, an Empyrean level influence, only had a mere several hundred people. How could this not lead Lin Ming to be shocked? Although this number was likely inaccurate because of how mysterious Divine Dream Palace was, he could still infer that Divine Dream Palace had an extremely small number of people. Divine Dream Palace only had several hundred or even a thousand people and yet it could be ranked at the highest echelons of Empyrean level holy lands. Besides Empyrean Divine Dream sitting in command, all other disciples of Divine Dream Palace had to be monstrous geniuses. The most amazing of them likely exceeded even great world kings. Mo Eversnow said, for this Empyrean Divine Dream to manage the first martial meeting herself, that is what I am surprised about. This is because Empyrean Divine Dream acts in a very low-key and muted manner, and she rarely appears. Yet, for her to manage the first martial meeting, I think there is a possibility that Empyrean Divine Dream's descendant is soon to be born. Empyrean Divine Dream's descendant, Lin Ming sucked in a cold breath of air. Whoever this person might be, their talent must be at unbelievable levels. This person must possess transcendent divine mites. At the very least, they would know the self-created transcendent divine might that Empyrean divine dream herself created. Moreover, growing up, this descendant must have used the absolute best of all resources. Compared with Lin Ming, besides the magic cube that he still wasn't able to activate on his own, she would be no worse than he was in any other aspect. As for having a monstrous talent and perception, there was no need to mention these things. These were the most basic advantages that an Empyrean descendant would possess. With all of this concentrated together, an abnormal singularity would be born. Mo Eversnow pressed her eyebrows together. She said, if you and she were of the same age, then you naturally wouldn't need to fear her. But, if she was older than you by even five years, Mo Eversnow's words trailed off. In the Divine Realm First Martial Meeting, the greatest unfairness lay in the problem of age. The older participants would definitely have an advantage, this was inevitable. Not to mention anyone else, but five years from now, just what sort of combat strength would Lin Ming have? How strong would he be ten years from now? It was hard to imagine. In terms of talent, Lin Ming had firm belief in himself, he wouldn't fear anyone. But because he had practiced martial arts for too short a time, it was hard for him to say what rank he would place in the Divine Realm first martial meeting without first meeting his opponents. There was no way he could randomly boast about such things. Empyrean Divine Dream. I wonder how she compares with Empyrean Primordius. Of the two of them, which one would be weaker, Lin Ming thought aloud. But for this sort of matter, perhaps only Empyrean Divine Dream and Empyrean Primordius would know. As he thought about it, he could barely be considered a half-descendant of Empyrean Primordius. Of course, the true legacy of Empyrean Primordius was still within the Eternal Demon Abyss where he had yet to obtain it. 
Although he could feel just how terrifying his opponents were, Lin Ming could also feel his warm blood boiling over with excitement. If everyone at the first martial meeting was on the same level as the three prodigies of Sacred Martial Mansion, then there wouldn't be any reason for participating at all. Ridiculously fearful opponents, an unknown result only this type of battle could cause Lin Ming to seethe with fighting spirit. Lin Ming's final goal for participating in the Divine Realm Martial Meeting was not only to learn another transcendent divine might, but also to test himself against the young elites that stood at the pinnacle of the Divine Realm. Only by fighting against these top masters would he be able to temper himself. Come on, let's go and register, Lin Ming strode out of Imperial City Auction House. As soon as he left the auction house, he didn't need Mo Eversnow's reminder to feel that several divine senses had locked onto him. To be so easily discovered by Lin Ming, the cultivations of these people had to be at the Divine Transformation Realm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 Divine Transformation Trashes actually thought to monitor me. These people are really patient. They've waited outside Imperial City Auction House all this time for me to come out, these people all had an early Divine Transformation cultivation. For a task as thankless and boring as monitoring someone, a Divine Lord Powerhouse naturally wouldn't be sent out. The Divine Transformation Realm was the boundary one needed to wander the vast Divine Realm by themselves with some semblance of safety. On a faraway tiny planet they could act as an overlord. As for a Divine Lord Powerhouse, that was different. They could seek a position in a holy land. For instance, in an 8th grade sect like Carefree Island, they could mix in and become an elder. Lin Ming sneered. When he just reached Ninfal he was already able to defeat a weak divine transformation martial artist. Now that he had opened the gate of life and also stepped into the divine sea, these people were even less worthy of mentioning. Mo Evers now said, there's no need to bother with these people. Let's go and register. Um, Lin Ming nodded. Whether these people were toads that didn't know the vastness of the heavens and earth, or whether they were the three prodigies of sacred martial mansion, or whether they were even Zhang Wenshu's underlings, he was disinclined to care about them at all. And if Immemorial Imperial City didn't have a blanket prohibition against fighting, then he wouldn't have minded teaching these four pieces of a garbage a lesson they would never forget. As Lin Ming moved, these four people silently followed. None of them were aware that Lin Ming had already discovered them. Besides a few people like Yu Ironrock and River Feather, no one knew just how strong Lin Ming was. They only knew that Lin Ming was ridiculously wealthy and that he likely didn't have any great background, otherwise there was no way he would have been sitting in the commoner section. To do that was simply seeking trouble. Lin Ming didn't even need to ask for directions, he only needed to follow the massive swelling tide of people to find the registration area. In the several thousand mile wide immemorial imperial city, there were already over a thousand registration points set up. And this was only Immemorial Imperial City. In the other great cities of True Martial World, the other planets and stars and hidden realms, there were also countless registration spots set up. As long as one met the defined requirements of age and cultivation, one could freely register. It wasn't an exaggeration to say that in the last several million years of history, this would be the most intense first martial meeting, with the highest number of people competing. Moreover, the appearance of Empyrean Divine Dream added a layer of mystery and intrigue to this first martial meeting. In every first martial meeting, there would be the birth of an Empyrean descendant. Or, it was more accurate to say that only when an Empyrean descendant was born would that Empyrean decide to take advantage of the momentum and hold a Divine Realm first martial meeting. And an Empyrean descendant, without accident, would easily become someone as strong as a great world king. The truth was that the fame and glory brought about by being the champion of a Divine Realm First Martial Meeting was even greater than that of being a Great World King. The Divine Realm's 3,000 Great World Kings had accumulated over millions of years. A new one would appear every 1,000 to 2,000 years. As for a Divine Realm First Martial Meeting, that would only be held every 4,000 to 5,000 years. Of course, this also meant that there were many geniuses who couldn't participate in the first martial meeting because of the time when they were born. However, in every first martial meeting, there would be the appearance of an Empyrean descendant, or even several of them. In the future, these Empyrean descendants would reach the level of a Great World King but wouldn't be considered as part of the Divine Realm's 3,000 Great World Kings. Here to register, Lin Ming waited in line for a long time. Then, when it was finally his turn, he stepped up and stood in a strange array formation. This array formation sent out a faint blue light that covered him. This is to determine your skeletal age, Mo Eversnow's voice sounded out in Lin Ming's ears. A person's skeletal age was closely tied to their life. 
This linked to one of the heavenly Tao laws, the so-called passage of time, karma and samsara, life and death, the fading of beauty. This was a law that not even an empyrean could control. In 100 million years, all would become dust. Yes, please record your name, cultivation, as well as the sect or family you come from. Also, please leave behind a true essence fluctuation. The registration attendant was a tall and thin old man. This old man passed Lin Ming a jade slip so that he could record his information and true essence fluctuation within it. This sort of thing was similar to a person's fingerprint. When it was recorded within, then combined with one's name, age, and other such information, it could be used to determine and lock down a person. Lin Ming recorded his name and cultivation in the jade slip. Then, when he was filling in the name of his sect, he recorded the ancient Phoenix clan. He knew that in participating in this divine realm first martial meeting, it was inevitable that he would shine with glory. Not to mention the top three or even top ten, but even ranking in the top ten thousand would bring endless attention from the entire divine realm and also arouse the interest of countless influences. The sect that he wrote down would also receive immense glory and praise. This favor was naturally given to the ancient Phoenix clan. After all, whether it was the ancient Phoenix clan's fairy Fung or Huo Violent Stone, both of them had treated him with graciousness. Lin Ming also had a very good impression of the ancient Phoenix clan. Even in Phoenix Cry Palace, when White Daohong had faced Lin Ming, who far surpassed him in talent, not only did White Daohong not feel jealousy and try to push him away, but he even gave suitable help and assistance. As for others who showed him graciousness, there was also Carefree Island's Mo Riverbliss. However, Mo Riverbliss couldn't appear publicly and it also wouldn't be a good idea to arouse too much interest in Carefree Island. Thus, he naturally couldn't record their name. The tall and thin old man received the jade slip and checked the information within it. After verifying the age and cultivation, he slowly said, next, Lin Ming's status wasn't great enough to arouse any interest. As a holy land disciple with an early divine sea cultivation, he was only one in the midst of countless trillions. As Lin Ming was registering, he could never have imagined what was occurring countless quadrillions of miles away from true martial great world at another great world of the divine realm good fortune world. In this world, there was an eighth grade sect called the Unbroken Cult. Currently living in this sect were two women that held an inestimable importance to Lin Ming. They were Miu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin. After many years, these two women had already reached a Divine Sea realm cultivation. Of course, the reason they reached the Divine Sea so quickly was because Old Man Good Fortune had arranged a time enchantment that sped up the flow of time by a factor of ten. Qin Xingxin's time in training had been even longer. Not just that, but the two women didn't need to consider questions of combat strength and accumulation. When Lin Ming had ascended, Fairy Feng used three years of her cultivation to bury a flame seed condensed from ancient phoenix blood into the bodies of Qin Xingxin and Miu Qianyu. This flame seed also contained fragments of the fire laws, allowing them to smoothly break through to the eighth stage of life destruction and reach the Divine Sea. And after the two women reached the Divine Sea, they were received by Old Man Good Fortune and ascended into the Divine Realm. Old Man Good Fortune was a disciple of Good Fortune World's Unbroken Cult. The reason that his nickname was Old Man Good Fortune was because of the world that he had come from. As someone who led people to the Divine Realm, those he led naturally went to the Unbroken Cult and became their outer court disciples. After Miu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin ascended to the Divine Realm, they had a faint feeling that it wouldn't be easy finding Lin Ming in such a vast world. But when they truly reached the Unbroken Cult, they discovered that they had far underestimated the difficulty of their mission. Miu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin had seen Fairy Feng, thus they were naturally aware that Lin Ming had been received into the ancient Phoenix clan as a disciple. This was the only clue they had to look for Lin Ming in the Divine Realm. They had thought that as long as they found the ancient Phoenix clan, they would be able to find Lin Ming. But after entering the Unbroken Cult, they asked around and looked through a great deal of material, finally finding out that the ancient Phoenix clan was divided into 72 palaces, scattered all over the Divine Realm and they didn't even know which palace Lin Ming was located at. Not just that, but to travel between great worlds once the expenses and consumption of spirit ship energy were accounted for required at least a million violet sun stones. As for Miu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin, the monthly expenses they received from the unbroken cult was only 10 violet sun stones. If they gathered them in this way, they would die before they could save the necessary amount. Moreover, to travel between great worlds required one to be at least a divine transformation realm powerhouse. This was because the spaces between the great worlds and within the great worlds were filled with robbers and killers. 
Murdering someone and stealing all of their possessions was a frequent occurrence. And if one were a beautiful woman, their fate would be extremely miserable. It was likely they would either be sold as a slave whore or used to cultivate and have all of their life essence sucked up. In this sort of situation, it was simply far too difficult for Mu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin to find Lin Ming. Big sister Mu, we've already been in the divine realm for half a year, but, if this continues, how will we still look for brother Lin? Qin Xingxin asked. She was standing in a field that the unbroken cult used to raise valuable treasure beasts. She wore a simple blue gown without any frills, and her face was fresh with an untouched beauty. Her supple black hair was tied back with a blue scarf and her sleeves were pulled up. Beads of fresh water dripped down her forehead, making her look like a simple yet utterly beautiful mortal village girl. At this time, Qin Xingxin was holding a stack of spirit grass in her hand, feeding a spirit beast that looked like a white horse. This spirit beast had a beautiful white horn coming from its head and its body was as white as snow. In the divine realm, a divine sea realm martial artist would only be raised with effort if they were a genius. For instance, within the unbroken cult, Mu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin were both only outer court disciples. It was impossible to wholeheartedly raise outer court disciples like direct disciples and for all of them to enjoy amazing resources. Outer court disciples thus had to engage in burdensome chores. The unbroken cult was a relatively poor sect. They weren't like Carefree Island that had the extremely resource-rich red desolate mystic realm. Because of this, the disciples of the unbroken cult needed to perform different labors. For instance, tending to medicinal fields, feeding spirit beasts, and so on. All of these tasks were to create more income for the sect in order to provide more resources for the sect elders and many direct disciples. There's nothing we can do for now. With our cultivation, if we tried to travel by ourselves, I fear we'd be eaten up without even our bones remaining. We can only diligently cultivate until, we reach the divine transformation realm. Then, once we have enough wealth saved up we can go find Lin Ming, Mu Qianyu said as she spoke. She weighed various spirit grasses and then mixed them with some different kinds of vicious beast meats, creating feed. Feeding spirit beasts was not an easy nor relaxed task. One had to wake up five hours before dawn, boil the spirit grass soup, mix the feed, clean the beast pens, and feed the spirit beasts before the sun rose. Following this, the two women also had to tend to the medicinal field. This medicinal field was filled with extremely precious medicinal herbs. One had to use special spirit techniques to feed and also deworm the plants. To tend to a small medicinal field would take the entire morning. In the afternoon, the two women would return to the beast pens and feed the spirit beasts a second time. Finally, only in the evening were the two allowed to freely cultivate. And in the unbroken cult, if one wished to borrow various cultivation method jade slips or listen to the teaching of elders, one required sect contribution points. The unbroken cult had tens of thousands of outer court disciples but only twenty some elder professors. Naturally, not every outer court disciple could attend the teachings whenever they wished. With Mu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin's strength, it was impossible for them to participate in the combat missions of the sect. The only way they could earn contribution points was to engage in the more menial labor tasks. Thus, the two women did much more work than the common female disciple. For the two of them, every ten days they were able to listen to one of the teachings and browse through the mortal step cultivation methods once. As for learning the core inheritances of the unbroken cult, that was impossible for them. Even so, the two of them studied and trained late into the day, discussing and sparring with each other. If they had questions they would ask their senior apprentice brothers and sisters. Of course, this sort of help wasn't free and also required a small number of contribution points. Such a way of training seemed extremely troublesome and arduous, but it was actually a much faster cultivation speed than in the lower realms. This was because the heaven and earth origin energy within the divine realm was incomparable with that of the lower realms. Moreover, the sky spill continent's planet had been blocked off by Empyrean Primordius so wanting to break into the divine transformation realm there was nearly impossible. But in the divine realm, although Mu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin's martial talents weren't particularly good, they still had high chances of breaking into the divine transformation realm. Once they did, they would be able to stand out and at least become sect deacons. Their monthly expenses would increase by a tremendous amount and they could also participate in combat missions. For them, this was the only way to find Lin Ming in the future. I wonder how Lin Ming is doing in the ancient Phoenix clan, with his talent, he should be able to become a core disciple. Every time Mu Qianyu remembered Lin Ming, she would worry in her heart. 
If she hadn't come to the divine realm then she would never have imagined just how vast it truly was. Now, she was able to experience its size for herself. Just the unbroken cult had over 30 divine lord powerhouses, several thousand divine transformation masters, and 70,000 to 80,000 divine sea disciples. And placed within the good fortune world, the unbroken cult was nothing more than a tiny sect. Even good fortune world itself was just one of the divine realm's 3,000 great worlds. Once one looked at the entire divine realm, there were truly more ninfal masters than there were dogs, with divine lord masters everywhere. Thus even though when Lin Ming was at the Sky Spill Continent and his talent there had defied the will of the heavens, Mu Qianyu was still worried for him now. There were far too many geniuses in the Divine Realm. Lin Ming wouldn't necessarily be able to become an overlord of his own domain as he did in the past. Moreover, Lin Ming entered a much larger sect so the competition he faced would also be much more brutal and wild. How did Lin Ming's days pass in the ancient Phoenix Clan? Was he pushed aside by others because of his status as someone who came from the lower realms? If she and Qin Xingxin found him, would that give him trouble instead? This last point was what Mu Qianyu worried about the most. Xingxin, let's not think of anything but training diligently for now. When we truly go to the ancient Phoenix clan, we cannot become a burden for Lin Ming, um, Qin Xingxin vigorously nodded. At this time, Mu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin heard the sound of a bell ringing out from the palace behind the medicinal field. This was the convening sign for all outer court disciples who tended the medicinal fields. That's the medicinal field we're responsible for, Mu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin quickly put down their work and ran over. The unbroken cult had extremely strict rules. If they were late, they would lose contribution points if their penalty was light. If their penalty was heavy then they would even be confined. No matter what the punishment was, it wasn't something that Mu Qianyu or Qin Xingxin could afford. Did something happen to the medicinal materials? Mu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin were both disturbed. If there was a problem with the medicinal field then that would be a great responsibility they could not shoulder. As they rushed to the medicinal field, Mu Qianyu could see that seven or eight female disciples were already standing in the open. They were all outer court disciples. Normally, handling the medicinal field was a chore that mostly female disciples did. And standing in front of these seven or eight female disciples was a red-clothed woman with phoenix eyes. She was an inner court disciple with a very prominent status and was also the manager of this medicinal field. As the red-clothed woman saw Mu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin hastily arrive, her eyebrows twisted together. She rudely said, slow hands and slow feet. No wonder the medicinal field is in such a mess. A mess. Mu Qianyu's breath caught in her throat and her heart raced. She had thought that there had been some accident with the medicinal field, but as she looked over to the one she was in charge of, she glanced over every strand of spirit grass and didn't see any major problems with them. She felt slightly better, but as she glanced at the other female disciples she found that they were all gloomy and silent. It was apparent that they had just been berated. In order to obtain contribution points, Mu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin were meticulous in their handling of the medicinal field. Otherwise, if they made some mistake and killed or wounded some medicinal plants, their entire month of work would have been in vain. There is no need for you to look. The red-clothed woman coldly coughed, her thin eyebrows rising up in anger. Do you think that it's fine just because the medicinal plants haven't died? I want the medicinal plants to vibrantly blossom. But looking at the medicinal herbs that all of you have raised, they appear diseased and sick. How could anyone possibly use them? Today, the Great Elder of Spirit Pill Pavilion along with three other Great Inner Court Elders have to gather 36,000 spirit herbs to help refine a pill. They are attempting to use nine-flavor divine grass to refine a nine-flavor recoil pill, a medium-grade heaven step pill. This is all for senior apprentice brother Yu Yuming to wash his marrow so that he can take another step forwards. Do you know how important this is? Do you know what a medium-grade heaven step pill is? Any pill or spirit herb with the heaven in its name must be extraordinary. If you delayed the refining of this pill, then even killing you 100 times over wouldn't be enough to make up for it. I don't care how any of you worked in the past. From this day forth, all of you no longer have free time. All of you have to place your energy into tending the medicinal fields every day. Every medicinal herb must be treated with absolute care, no free time. Mu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin glanced at each other, able to see a faint bitter light in the other's eyes. The truth was that a divine sea martial artist would be energized enough for the day after meditating for an hour, so they didn't need much time to rest. However, if they didn't have any free time, how would they continue training? As for the other outer court disciples, they weren't any happier upon hearing this news. 
To them, a medium-grade heaven step pill was an extremely distant matter. As for senior apprentice brother Yu Yuming's name, that was something that struck them like a bolt of thunder. He was the top direct disciple and the chosen pride of heaven that the sect had spent a great deal of effort to raise. To ordinary outer court disciples, he was simply the same as a divine god. The great elder of Spirit Pill Pavilion along with three inner court elders are actually spending such a great price to refine a pill to help senior apprentice brother Yu Yuming wash his marrow, a young female disciple muttered to herself, feeling envy in her heart. Both of them were divine sea disciples, so how could the difference in their fates be so great? Humph, there is no need for you to be surprised. I might as well tell you that a grand event that only occurs every four or five thousand years in the divine realm is occurring soon, and that is the first martial meeting. It will encompass all geniuses of the divine realm's three thousand great worlds. Senior apprentice brother Yu Yuming is the most talented disciple of our unbroken cult and the only chance we have of gaining glory. If any hitches occur, I absolutely won't forgive the culprit. Divine Realm First Martial Meeting, Mu Qianyu and Qin Xingxin said at the same time. Qin Xingxin's thoughts stirred. She said to Mu Qianyu, Big Sister Mu, do you think that Lin Ming might participate also? 